All right, Retro Brat, Nico. How we feeling about this one, chat? What y'all think? Y'all let me know some. ZLP says, I tried my best. That's all I can say. Well, you got to try better. No, I'm just playing with you. Crazy VIP 101 says, the bubble is pretty dark inside. Yeah, I can see that. It could be brighter. Does every computer user, I feel, I feel like, have a cat? I, I, I definitely, I think that's a... I think that's a graphic designer thing. We all have cats, black beanies, and used to be plaid shirts, but Alana says, I like the watermarks. I think they can be more uniform or more spread out. Yeah, I think maybe if the watermarks kind of like framed it a little bit. I don't know if there's a way to kind of add depth to that, but maybe if there were some that kind of looked that were like farther away, because it looks like they're just kind of sitting on the on the lens or like right in front of my face. Maybe if you had like some in the back here, kind of coming from the clouds a little bit, but you kind of like fade at the background. I feel like that could have done good. And then maybe just had like a few watermarks up here. John 3K says, I feel like the watermark actually disrupts, disrupts things a lot, mainly due to color choice. It pops out too much in my opinion. Yeah, it does pop out a lot. I mean, I think besides the, the main elements that we see right here it's you know it's one of the main things that my eye is drawn to alana says can't tell what direction the piece is moving the watermarks feel like they're falling from all directions yeah and are they is it are they upside down should it be because I'm, I'm thinking like the larger part should be facing down no or well i mean if it's if it's falling on to like a camera lens then maybe this way i'm not sure though i mean definitely probably could have added some shading here to just kind of make it look like it's sitting on the hand a little bit more i see you kind of tried to cut it you know do some clipping mask goodness right here but definitely kind of adding some shading here probably would have helped push that a little bit ut curse says the droplets weren't really essential crazy vip says the bubbles going up the background moving towards the right oh yeah and for the cat maybe i feel like the edge of the cat I can kind of tell that it was probably cut out of like a black background. Probably need to do like some defringing, remove kind of white matting around the edges over here, just to kind of make it look like it's a little bit more in the scene. ZLP says it was my first piece. We know, we know, we know, you know, we taking it easy. It's like, this is like class critique, you know what I'm saying? Everybody crowds around at a desk <laughs> and, you know, we just sit in silence and just wait on somebody to just kind of like, rip into your project you know what i'm saying but we keeping it chill over here alana says i like the texture of the grass and clouds yeah the texture is kind of cool down here zlp says y'all still catching the part where i messed up on the arm yeah like like right here yeah you just needed to nudge that over a little bit or do some clone stamping content aware feel generative feel whatever you want to whatever you want to call it crazy vip says feels like a mix by the way of digital paint and realistic items yeah yeah like this looks really realistic that's realistic and then i feel like the background is all kind of a painted in is this ai i'm not sure overall though if this is your first piece good stuff you've got a good sense of composition and kind of putting things together putting elements together you just got to work on the actual execution of things and just kind of work on you know adding some shadow here getting rid of like the fringing around here um i can't zoom in but i can see that you know it's kind of like cut right here but you know getting rid of that stuff there zlp says it was an original ai piece in the background because i didn't want to copy anybody's stuff well you should check out resources like envato elements really really good if you want to get into kind of compositing things like they'll have elements like some grass here that you can just drop in like a little PNG of like a cat or something. ZLP says, I'm surprised you didn't say anything about the sun and the middle of the bubble. Batlo says, AI copy from others though. Yeah. But yeah, overall though, if this is your first piece. You got a, you got a long journey ahead of you. You know what I'm saying? And we here with you. You feel me? Be prepared for a lot of, for a lot of critiques. Some good, some bad. Overall though, in the discord, we here to help. Don't be shy about dropping your work in there. But y'all ready for the next one? All right, bet. Let's get it. UT curse. UT curse. I know you in here. Bro said, bye. I'm out of here. How we feeling about this one? Tori says, so much going on. There's a lot going on. Feels like an I Spy cover. ZLP says, I don't know what to think. The water pipe is off. I don't know why, but this just reminds me of like, like when you're like going to get like, when you're going to get like ice from the grocery store or something. 
and they've got like the water pipe with the water kind of dripping down into the bag that's like completely closed and it's like bro what is this vatlo says this feels like it's satire of the style <laughs> crazy vip says very fun concept but the blending is off yeah definitely agree Tori says the T-posing seagulls got me. <laughs> hey, where are you flying to? I like the scuba diver and the bubbles, even the iPod. I feel like the iPod in the water is the most like, and even the fish down here is, I don't know. I feel like it's out of everything. I feel like this kind of is blended the best. How'd you, how'd you do this type up here? The scuba diving. I feel like you had to have exported that from like PowerPoint, like old, like nineties PowerPoint software or something. Alana says the bottom the bottom half eats. Nah, definitely. Yeah, this this little area right here is 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 you you were you were cooking with this little area down here. Is up here this top half is when you start losing me, bro. I feel like you probably could have completely like got rid of this up here. <laughs> Et Kurt says I edited this on my potato phone. I mean, hey, when you say that, if if you editing on a potato, bro, like kudos. That sounds difficult. I couldn't do that. Yeah, I feel like you got two different designs going on here. You could have probably, I don't know if like Frutiger Arrow is like, you know, if like sand is like, sand at the beach is like Frutiger Arrow. I feel like it's more just kind of like throwing some splashes of water in there. If I had to say, if you had to take, give you one, if I had to give you one takeaway from the critique, less elements. You got too many elements going on. Scuba diving, but like, how does any of that relate to like, you know, Windows or the iPod classic you got in here. Like, and what is the scuba diver doing? <laughs> oh my God. This gotta be satire. I love it though. Hey, this would, for some people, this would be good enough. You know what I'm saying? Like if it laughs, if it makes me laugh, like it, it honestly can't be that bad. He curse says, I wanted to give it some sort of dream feels. Okay. Some sort of dreamy feel. It is, it, it is dreamy. This is definitely what my dreams be looking like for real. Just a bunch of random stuff going on. I dig it though. Hey, it made me laugh, so you know, I like it. But I'm labeling this a satire. This isn't this this isn't Fruit of Grey Arrow. But y'all ready? Y'all ready for the next one? How we feeling? Is there a next one? I think is this the last one? I guess we'll see. Okay, there we go. Get Ed. What we what we thinking? We got the one piece Fruit of Grey Arrow esque submission. Cole says clean. Crazy VIP says skip, please. That's the end of the show. <laughs> Just right right off the bat though, I like the idea here of like I like the idea here of like how you're trying to put the grass like on top of the clouds. I just think you probably could have executed it a little better cuz I can I can I can tell where like you're using like the eraser tool to kind of try and blend this in here. What would help sell the effect is to maybe actually throw like like some dirt here, almost kind of like it's been uprooted, kind of like you know, something you would see in like Dragon Ball Z or something. ZLP says besides the bubble in the middle on the right, I mean, it's clean. PLS says it's giving the board game life. I dig it. It's giving Mordecai and Rigby type adventure. Vat Low says rainbow should definitely be brighter. D Kurt says, yo, I'm gonna leave. It's three in the morning here. All right, bro. You take it easy. Appreciate you for rocking with us. Yeah, but rainbow could definitely be a little brighter. Less, less saturated, maybe. PLS says, I'm sorry. I'm definitely anime uncultured but i appreciate that the piece still communicates overall just kind of just needs to work on compositing crazy vip says the idea i had in my head was not coming out how i wanted it on the design but i i get the vision though i see the vision it's just like you just got to work on it a little bit but good stuff though all right moving on to the next one melon 69 how we feeling about this one chat is this fruit of arrow i feel like the doodles kind of like the flower doodles i feel like there's an opportunity there to kind of incorporate some flower elements that kind of relate more to kind of skeuomorphism. There's too many different mediums used. Yeah. And then this is kind of the arrow scent. The type is like futuristic looking, but I think it's a little too like reminiscent of, you know, like futuristic typefaces that you would see like today, like something on Behance. I like the background gradient. I would have liked to see how everything looks like if it was kind of framed around the bottle here. So maybe making the bottle kind of smaller, centering it, and then kind of arranging kind of like some different flower elements around it. And then instead of like the gradient background, maybe like like something more reminiscent of like Northern Lights or something like that, or like maybe like a sky. I feel like that could have helped because right now, you know, everything feels a little flat. Crazy VIP says the separation between the subjects 
needs to be worked on. Yeah, I agree. ZLP says, I think the background and all the color was actually physically put in. Vatlo says, there's no reason the title to be back of the bottle. There's plenty of space at the bottom. Space on top, actually, I'm sorry. You, you do have a lot of a lot of real estate up here for that text. Then you also got like some kind of fringing around the outside here. So probably could have made that a little bit smoother. The text is kind of pixelated there. I'm not sure if that was intentional. All good, keep working on it. Grainy gradient background would be good as opposed to a painted background. I could see that. ZLP says the white letters don't go with the black letters. It's two different concepts mashed together. I could give you all the feedback in the world on this, but at the end of the day, like the way I see it, you just gotta design more. The piece doesn't really feel uniform. You'll get past this, this part right here. How y'all feel about the stream chat? Y'all y'all like these? Y'all rocking with these? Let me know if y'all let me know if y'all want me to keep doing these. If we keep doing these now, y'all gotta y'all gotta come through for me for real. ZLP says I'm jealous of your room. Crazy VIP says let me know what I need to work on. Yeah, these will these will go up. I think I'll maybe I'll like put the streams up on YouTube. Just leave them leave them up for y'all. PLS says thank you for taking the time out. Of course, y'all my community, bro. I do it for y'all. I'm definitely I'll definitely come through. Let's keep doing these. PLS says I learned a lot. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, I don't know what the next challenge will be, but if y'all if y'all got any ideas for them, right right now would be the time. Now now would be the time if y'all got any ideas for the next design challenge. We'll consider it. If not, you know you you, you know we'll we, we'll be in the kitchen. We'll cook something up. Tori says I love these critiques and the vibes. Appreciate it because I was nervous as fuck doing this. Any free software you can recommend? I got there, there's some there's some in the Discord under resources. Check check out the resources channel in in Discord. Yeah, I got a whole a whole list of stuff in there. But all right, chat. I appreciate y'all for stopping by, hanging out, kicking it with kicking it with the boy. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Thank y'all for rocking with me.